Hello, Naginayo101, and it's story time once again, and it's a very early morning, so I decided to tell the story because it's kind of funny. Um, okay, this is pretty much how I met my fiancé, and it is pretty, pretty damn funny. Okay, I started going to this anime convention back in 2000, and pretty much, um... I didn't really know anybody, and I didn't really have many friends because, well, I didn't have any at all. So, one year I decided to go, and this was back in 2005, and this, we had just moved the con to a different hotel. <laughs> I had booked my hotel room, and uh, I had come to find out that some of security did not have a room. Um, me and my friend Jessica decided to let a couple of the con staff put their stuff in our room for, you know, nice, being nice. Well, <clears throat> this is where it gets funny. Um, because in 2004, my ex-boyfriend, who locked his keys in the car, um, uh, just decided never to show up again. <laughs> hint, hint, he showed up again, don't worry. <laughs> I would not let my ex-boyfriend live that one down, but... Anyway, in 2005, they moved to hotel to this hotel, and I was kind of angry because they had taken away, had given the room that were meant for the security to go to. Yeah. So this was the year I met my uh my my now fiance, and um I cannot get hit on for the life of me because it goes over my head. So he started hitting on me. And I'm like standing in line. He said something, and I thought it meant the girl behind me. Uh, then a few years later, fast forward, he did it again. Again, it went over my head. This was 2007. Okay, so that year I was sharing a room with a bunch of other people, and yeah. Well, finally. He and I were talking, and he told me about the girl that uh, he kept hitting on and never got a the right response from because he actually liked her. And, well, that was me. <laughs> it wasn't until our Rocky Mountain Fur Con that we actually talked. And that was what he told me. Yeah, I was trying to hit on this girl once. I really liked her. But she blew me off because she probably didn't know I was hitting on her. That girl with me, dubby. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it was kind of funny, kind of stupid, but it was great. My ex um, at the time didn't really get the story until later. And well, truth be told, that was actually the funniest moment ever. So, ever since that convention, people have always asked, uh, does he still do that? Yes, he does. He hits on me whenever he can. It's a guy thing. Um, so, yeah. So, if you ever get that funny story about a girl who gets hit on and she is totally oblivious, that that's me. I am totally oblivious because I've had guys hit on me and I am totally not aware of it. My sister has said I am oblivious to everything because uh, yeah, I'm usually more focused on my hobbies and I have absolutely no clue. Anyway, that is the story of how Nagi Nayoa met her boyfriend and how we got engaged was back in 2010 and that is another story for another time. But that is the story of how I got engaged and how stupid I was because I am not. Everything goes over my head when it comes to getting hit on. But yes, that is the story of how many times this guy has hit on me and I totally had no clue. So Nagi Nayoa, signing out.